Welcome to Candlewick Library. I'm Cheryl. Today I'm doing the American Girl book tag. This tag was originally created by Shannon at Old American Spirit and Morgan at Morgan's Endless Bookshelf and I was tagged by Shannon. They put together this really cute tag where each prompt matches with an American Girl character from one of their books. I've really enjoyed the American Girl books that I've read and I love some of the older movies that they made. So I thought this would be a fun one to take part in. Number one is Kaya, adventurous and active. For this prompt, I thought of Ramona from Ramona the Brave and the rest of the Ramona series by Beverly Cleary. I absolutely loved this series as a child. These are some of the first chapter books that I remember reading by myself. And I really related to Ramona so much so that if you've been watching any of our Back to Hogwarts host live sprints, you will have heard an embarrassing story where I told a story most of my life that had happened to me in first grade. And when I read this book to my daughters, I realized it hadn't happened to me, it had happened to Ramona. But I had internalized that, that at that young age. This is the original copy I've had since I was a child, so you can see how beat up it is. As well as the fact that my brothers and I used to have a really bad habit of drawing little pictures inside these books at that age to create little, to create little, uh, little videos. So it was a very well-loved book. And Ramona is definitely adventurous and active. Number two is Felicity, energetic and equestrian. My three favorite American Girl movies are the Felicity movie, the Samantha movie, and the Molly movie. Those are the only ones I've really watched multiple times. I don't know how many there actually are by now. I always really enjoyed Felicity with the Revolutionary War time period. And so I tried to think of somebody that reminded me of Felicity and I had a hard time thinking of somebody. But then I thought of Caddy Woodlawn and Caddy Woodlawn is a book that I didn't know about until a few years ago. So even though I loved Little House on the Prairie and this seems like it would have been something that I would have been exposed to early on, I had never heard of it. Caddy is really adventurous and she is energetic. She wants to do the activities her brothers are doing rather than what she is expected to do. There is one part where she bravely goes to the Native American encampment to kind of clear up something that's happening and I'm pretty sure she rides a horse there. I don't remember that for sure but since it does have a little house in the prairie type feel I know that there are horses in the book so picking this one. Number three is Josephina, Big Heart and Big Dreams. For this I'm kind of splitting it up into two characters, Eleanor and Marianne Dashwood. I think they both have really big hearts. They show it in different ways. Marianne by her passion and she does have big dreams. She seems to not want to be pigeonholed, I think. And Eleanor seemed to be less that way, but I think she has just as big of dreams, they're just different dreams. And obviously she has a big heart because she takes care of everyone around her. And she also, throughout this book, we see her put others before herself, even though it's breaking her heart. Number four is Kirsten, Strong and Spirited. I really like the Kirsten books. And I, as far as I know, I don't think there's a, a film for Kirsten. And I wish there was, when we lived in Wisconsin, my daughter, my oldest daughter was really into American Girl and she got her first American Girl doll for Christmas from my parents and they gave her the Kirsten doll. It felt like at the time it was kind of popular to try to get the American Girl doll that you make it look like yourself. And if we had done that, it would have been the Kirsten doll. She looked so much like my little girl at that time. My mom was visiting and we went down to Chicago to the American Girl store and took her Kirsten doll with us and she had this really cute little pink coat. Uh, so I did her hair like Kirsten's and everybody was saying that at the store. They were all talking about how she looked like a little doll herself. And so even though I haven't read all of the Kirsten books and I don't think there's a Kirsten movie, I have a lot of really good memories that are related to Kirsten. The prompt for Kirsten is strong and spirited. And for this, I thought of Matilda from Matilda. She has such a hard home life and then she goes to school and goes through so many hard things and it doesn't dampen her spirit. I feel like she just becomes stronger and obviously she's spirited. We see that through her throughout the book. Number five, Addie, brave and brilliant. There's actually quite a few that I could pick for this, but I'm going with Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. Throughout the whole series, we see her bravery. She is Gryffindor, but she's also brilliant. Number six, Samantha, compassionate and caring. 
I'm going to go with Beth March for this. Beth is obviously very compassionate. She gets sick because she's so compassionate. She's the only one that goes out to do what their mom would have done if she had been there. She cares so deeply for everyone in her life. Number seven, Kit, clever and creative. For this one, I'm going with Myrtle Hardcastle from Myrtle Hardcastle Mysteries. This is the first one in the series, Premeditated Myrtle, but there's a whole series. She is very clever. She is figuring out the mysteries and she's very creative in how she does it. She also could fit most of these prompts. She's energetic, she's strong and spirited, she's brave. And number eight, Molly, a schemer and a dreamer. I thought of quite a few for this as well, including Joe March, but I'm going to go with Enola Holmes from the Enola Holmes series, Sherlock and Mycroft Holmes, Little Sister. Their mother has disappeared and she sets off to try to find her. She obviously is a dreamer because she wants to be a detective in the same vein as her brother. And she is a schemer because she comes up with a lot of ways to hide who she really is, what her age is. I really enjoy Enola Holmes and that series, even though usually that is something I wouldn't like so much. When somebody takes somebody else's story and characters and then adds characters that don't exist to make their own story, that's not necessarily something I am usually drawn to. Although I would say that I probably do prefer it when it's somebody they make up completely rather than writing their own story with a character that already exists. But I really enjoy it. I think it's such a great series. And that's it. Um, I'm going to tag Lucy at Lucy Chronicles and Charlene at Coffee and a Book. Don't feel pressured. If you're watching this and want to do it, please do. And go check out Shannon and Morgan's channels. They're both great. And I think that they put together such a fun original tag.